Oh, and Amy, it looks like you're moving a little bit. Yeah, uh, we are. That happened just about 90 seconds ago. Uh, I was listening to Eugene and DOT on Twitter. They reopened the northbound uh, lanes eight minutes ago, so we are seeing some movement there. Uh, we're trying to navigate ourselves around a tow truck and some first responders. Uh, a fire uh, ambulance passed us, um, uh, uh, you know, a, red, a, a rescue medic truck passed us maybe 10 minutes ago. They're working hard out here. They've got wires across the road uh, and tough conditions for these first responders. But we are slowly starting to creep along here. I, I think maybe you can see on the GoPro camera we are approaching exit four on the southbound side of 93, Gene. Okay, and that would be the exit. If you stay with us here, you can see what they're working on. We're going to see if we can show you if you can stay with us, Gene. Oh, I'm going to stay with you because after everybody waited for an hour or so on the highway, we want to see what they are dealing with. This is WMUR's Amy Cavino in the passenger seat of our news car, our GoPro dash cam on Interstate 93. She is heading northbound, or southbound rather, um, toward Derry, and uh, the roads were closed about an hour, maybe longer ago, when trees and wires crossed both lanes of the interstate, north and southbound lanes closed. The backup stretches for miles. We could see from our Windham camera that it was backed up all the way to there. And as Amy said, eight, ten minutes ago, the DOT was able to open the northbound side. And Amy, we see you approaching something on the southbound side. Can you describe what you're seeing? Yeah, so uh, we're in a tight merge here. And, of course, all of this happens when it's just snowing harder than it snowed all day, it seems like. And the winds are picking up really feel for these crews that are working in these conditions. You can see this huge DOT rig. Uh, I'm not, I can't tell what his role is here. He's got arrows on the, I mean, he looks like he's a snow maintenance guy. Uh, here's, we're just passing state police and then another DOT snowplow. Uh, we can't see the wires down. It's, it's like nothing ever happened. They're amazing um, what they did in an hour to, to open it back up. Although we're exiting on four, and uh, the southbound lanes beyond four are still um, closed off. So everybody is exiting at exit four on the southbound side. Nobody can continue beyond that at this point, Gene. So it appears you are taking a detour uh, heading south at this point. Everybody must detour off the highway here? That's right. There is no traffic. Uh, there is still that DOT uh, snowplow truck blocking all southbound uh lane so everybody's forced onto exit four if you're in that southbound backup and this is slow going amy because we could see the backup miles to the south of you just from this closure so all of these people taking a detour a one lane detour at this point and the snow coming down i mean this could really be a while if you're out on the interstate in this area near Derry. Indeed, I was shocked to hear you say it was a seven-mile backup that you could see that from our traffic camera. Um, yeah, it's a mess, and it's certainly changing the trajectory of people's days. I was talking to some people who were stuck in the backup, um, saying, you know, they were out servicing their customers or whatever, and, it, and they agreed with me. It's like it's snowing worse now than it was earlier in the day. Visibility is bad. Uh, traction on the road is bad. And, of course, the winds are picking up. It's just all, all of the recipes of a mess. <laughs> yeah, almost like almost like our own little perfect storm here. Um, once again, state police have notified us that they do hope to open the southbound lanes um, just before 2 p.m. DOT already opened about 10 minutes ago. The northbound lanes, our own meteorologist Haley LaPointe was in the northbound lanes trying to get to work. She was stuck for about an hour or longer and is slowly making her way here. So we'll be happy to see Haley when she arrives. Amy Cavino heading southbound and you can see she's taking this detour here. Um, Amy, any idea where you're going to go after you get off the off ramp? <laughs> Let me check in with Brennan. He's been the, behind the wheel since about 7 o'clock this morning. Where are we going to go, Brennan? <laughs> uh, wherever the road takes us. <laughs> At this point, we're just trying to uh, mind our manners and stay with the flow, Gene. Uh, it looks like we're going to get off exit 4 and bear to the right because that's what everybody else is doing. Yeah, I imagine. <laughs> so we're going to get on 102 westbound. I imagine some people at this point might need a little rest stop. <laughs> yes, uh, we were envious of the dogs that were, you know, getting to do their rest right, right right in the backup yeah <laughs> yeah doing what they do so all right so let's just get everyone quickly updated amy thank you so much for us being able to follow your 
your travels. They've certainly been harrowing today. Interstate 93 really running into trouble about an hour or so ago when wires came across the roadway. Both north and southbound lanes were completely closed do those wires. This is near exits four and exit five Derry and London Derry. You can see from the live camera that traffic heading southbound is being detoured off exit four right now, though we do expect the southbound lanes to open within the next few minutes, according to New Hampshire State Police. The northbound lanes were opened by the DOT about 10 minutes ago. They have big rigs, first responders, fire engines, plow trucks, sand trucks, everybody on the scene trying to open this interstate to get people moving and get them to where they need to go safely.